Whenever I buy something from the business, especially like a trailer or a mower or a piece of equipment, I'm buying for tomorrow. I'm not buying for right now. I'm buying for right now to make my life easier to where I can get to tomorrow, right? So uh, I wanted to talk a minute about uh, about uh, man. What's gonna do with that? I'm gonna lose my keys. So uh, so my guy over there at AMI, big shout out to AMI over there. Uh, oh, I think it's AMI Lawn Care. Uh, he was talking about well, he wanted some input on. Uh, you know an open trailer or an enclosed trailer now an enclosed people you know uh, like the enclosed trailer and they talk about all the good about the enclosed trailer you know the security of the enclosed trailer is the number one thing right uh, but see to me the security of those trailers are not it gives you a false sense of security uh, because I know me, right? If I, if I, uh, say I had an enclosed trailer, I'm going to take the big equipment off the enclosed trailer every night anyway. Because if somebody sees, if, if, if somebody breaks into your enclosed trailer, well, number one, they can't see what's in it. So you might wake up one morning and go out there and even though you don't keep your equipment in it, Somebody done busted the locks and everything, you know, because they think something's in it. With the open trailer, they can see. If it's if it uh, doesn't have a man door, then you can back it up to, a, you know, something and can't nobody let the ramp down. Now, that would be uh, one way, but most of them, when they get, get a little bit bigger, they have a side door. Another thing on trailers, you know, and this is just kind of, I'm just yicky yacking about trailers real quick. So another thing on uh, the enclosed trailers is well you don't have no place to load stuff like debris and little stuff uh, and it'd be easy right I couldn't imagine some of the stuff that I put on 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 my lawn trailer on my big lawn trailer having to put it in you know putting it in a enclosed trailer it's gonna it's gonna make it where I'm not gonna want to haul anything off because uh, of that right so that's another thing about it and I will say this now dude was talking about he's got a 14 foot single axle trailer he's thinking about getting a 14 foot double axle trailer I wouldn't do that uh, 14 foot um, I mean, 14 foot is is a nice is a nice size trailer. Don't get me wrong, but uh, if I'm going to buy a trailer, you got to look at it in context of what you're trying to do. If I'm going to buy a trailer anyway, it's not going to be a 14 footer if I already have a 14 footer. Because if I buy a trailer and I spend the thousands it takes to buy a trailer, I'm upgrading. I am. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, anything that I buy from my business, it's a given. It's going to cover what I'm doing right now. It's a given. Uh, but it's going to have to do more than what I'm doing now. It's going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to grow into whatever trailer I buy. So, uh, and I'm not going to buy a, just me personally and not digging nobody, I'm not going to buy a 14 foot trailer, you know, a six by 14 or whatever, uh, with, uh, with tandem axles on it anyway, because you can get them with single axles, right? And if you already got a 14 foot trailer and it's a single axle and it's holding all your, all your stuff, then why would I go to another 14 foot trailer? I'm going to go to a 16 foot trailer, right? With a tandem. 
If you've got a 14 foot trailer now and it's a single axle, 3,500 pound axle, then I'm not gonna just go to a 14 foot trailer with double axle. You know, so all I'm doing is adding the axle onto it. I got the same floor space. No. If I buy a trailer, it's gonna be bigger. You know, it's got, it's got to be. I mean, it doesn't even make any sense, especially with what things cost these days. Another thing that I'm a real stickler for uh, as I've gotten more evolved in my, my business, and I can't speak for anybody else, uh, is that I have, I have a real hard time uh, not bending the 3,500-pound axle trailers. Maybe it's the way I drive. Maybe it's the amount of mowers I put on there. If I buy a six, if, if I, any trailer that I buy, it's gonna have 5,000 pound axles, or I'm not gonna buy it. All my trailers that y'all see that I use in the business, uh, this one has 7,000 pound axles. My dump trailer has 5,000 pound axles. My, the main trailer that I use in the, in the lawn care has 5,000 pound axles. The only one that has 3,500 pound axles is the small trailer that y'all see Zach pull around. Uh, but the floor is it's a six by ten, so the floor space on it is so small that you can't put enough weight on that thing to bend the axle. Uh, in you know, in most situations. So, moving forward in my business after what year? I guess I guess around the, around two thousand and twenty or so, two thousand nineteen. Uh, that's when I decided that I was never going to buy another trailer with a 3,500-pound axle on it. And if you get an enclosed trailer, that's even more where you want to have the bigger axles. Because you want to buy a trailer for tomorrow. It's a given it's going to work for what you got going on today. But I'm buying a trailer for tomorrow and to, to, for the foreseeable future. And to AMI... If you are uh, going to buy another trailer, I would not go less than 16 foot since you've already got a 14 foot or a 13 foot. They don't even make 13 foot trailers. I don't, not where they're down where I'm at, unless it's some homemade trailer or something. But the enclosed part of the trailer, there's a, there's a, there's a few things, and I'll just run off a little checklist real quick because I'm not trying to make this video real long. Uh, you can't see when you're backing up and stuff, okay? Uh, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, it catches a lot of wind. They're not as secure as you might think. Uh, and they're more expensive. And then if I buy one based on my philosophy of the 5,000 pound axles, then I'm going to want one with 5,000 pound axles because having the cover and all is uh, on the on the trailer, the covered trailer or the, you know, enclosed trailer, they're heavier. So, uh, in, in theory, if you buy a 14 foot enclosed trailer, it's going to be heavier than a 14 foot not enclosed trailer, <laughs> right? Some of the good things about, well, one of the really good things about uh, having an enclosed trailer is signage. You can put you can put your name and stuff on the on the sides of the trailer. It protects your gear from uh, prying eyes while you're out working, right? It protects your gear from the sun and stuff too. Is it is it is it a security spot to? put your equipment in at night uh, not for me uh, because it's, if, if you got thieves that are uh, that are looking for a lick right and they see an enclosed trailer backed up there in that in that in that uh, driveway and it's got all this landscape signage and stuff on it and you see it and they see the enclosed trailer whether it's got anything in it or not they're not gonna know and uh, they'll go break into it only to see that there's nothing in it. But it's gonna cost you still 500 bucks or so to get everything back fixed right. Plus the feeling of paranoid feeling that I get after somebody robs me.
and it takes a few weeks for me to get over it. You got different grades of thievery too. You got bulkers that'll come up in there and with bolt cutters and cut it and and it's all according to where you got your equipment at too. Uh, you got bold people that'll come up in there and cut it and and go into it no matter what. Then you got then you got what I call slick thieves. Thieves that don't want no trouble. All they want to do is just grab something before you hit a dope or whatever, right? So they're gonna creep. They if you got it locked up. Well, they may leave too, or they may break the locks. They're easy to break. You know, those enclosed trailers are about as secure as a freaking camper, you know. Uh, now, where you park it and all that, that can make it more secure. Uh, the best thing about an enclosed trailer to me is the signage, being able to put your name and everything on the side of it, you know. Uh, but, they, they, but, but it costs, you know. An enclosed trailer's gonna cost more. So, and if if I and if I if I were to buy an enclosed trailer, it's gonna have it's gonna have to be the end all of the trailers that I buy. I mean, you know, for the for the foreseeable future, I'm not gonna be buying anything, you know, uh, another trailer for a while. Uh, to, you know, on the lawn maintenance. See, my 16 foot lawn trailer is perfect it's got uh for uh what i was doing when i bought it and what i've done since then because if you can carry around two zero turn mowers uh then for me and the way i run my business that's all i really need because i don't never have two people in the truck with me doing lawn maintenance not ever to me that's not the most efficient way to do it uh, with having more than two people in each truck for the yards that I do. If you get on some bigger properties, then that's different. But still, if you're on a bigger property, then what I do is I'll have the other truck go do blah, 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 and then meet me at the other, at the property that requires three people. Uh, I never have three people in the truck with me on lawn maintenance, or two people in the truck with me on lawn maintenance. So by me having just me and one other person on lawn maintenance, I, all I need is two mowers, right? Uh, I'm just not a big fan of the enclosed trailers for, for all those reasons. Uh, the number one being, um, you don't, you can't really, you know, uh, well, you can't back it into your garage, for instance. You can't, but what's the point back in that? But that's the whole thing of having an enclosed trailer so you don't have to back it inside. So, I mean, and it costs more. I don't know what the difference is in price but it, it, i mean they cost more but i want I, I i'll tell this and people can take this for whatever they want to uh if you're going to be doing this you got to look at what you're doing too are you going to be doing this for the foreseeable future is this what you're doing for a living is this where you or are you doing are you a, you know a part-timer solo guy if i'm a part-time solo guy then uh the only trailer I need is is my big landscape trailer, you know, that I put the two mowers on. That's the only one I really need. I don't need uh, uh, any other trailer, even solo, because it's good to have two mowers when you when you're solo. Uh, yeah, and of course there's other things you got to think about too. The bigger the trailer you get, well, you got to be able to pull it. Um, you got to have brakes on the trailer and got to have a, a control box in the truck, you know, brake control box. So a lot of times guys go out and, and, and buy a nice trailer, you know, and only to realize that they got to add a control, a, a brake control box onto their truck. They got to run the seven plug onto their truck gotta make sure all that stuff's already there uh these are costs outside of the trailer you know uh, to me in closing here what i what i think is uh the open trailers are much more universal okay much more much more i mean for instance I got one one instance right here. 
So, if all you've got is an enclosed trailer, and I'm talking about me, if all I got is an enclosed trailer, and I want, and I'm and I'm buying an attachment for the skid steer, right? Then I'm gonna have to take this big ass trailer wherever that attachment is, instead of taking one of the lawn trailers that I can just have them pick up and put on, right? You know, in an enclosed trailer, you, it, you, you, well, you, I guess you get them up on there, but I mean, the ramp's gonna be in the way. You're gonna have to, you're gonna, it's gonna be, you know, you can't load it from the side for sure. Uh, and and another thing I don't like about the enclosed trailers is it's hot, man. They're hot as hell in there. You know, I had rather have an open trailer that'll hold more weight being the 5,000 pound axles. Most of the time, well, all of the time, when you're looking at trailers uh, from a trailer dealer, when you tell them a lawn trailer, they're automatically gonna uh, put 3,500 pound axles under that trailer, two of them. I want two 5,000 pound axles under my trailer. When I had my uh, Gator made lawn trailer, uh, when I when I bought it, uh, it only came with 3,500 pound axles, and I told him I want I wanted 5,200 pound axles, uh, along with the, with the upgraded spring and everything. And it, you know that's what I wanted, you know. Uh, and sometimes the 3,500 pound don't even offer brakes, but the 5,200 pound axles they that they usually offer brakes. I don't know if. I don't know if it's in stone, but yeah. But whenever I buy something for the business, especially like a trailer or a mower or a piece of equipment, I'm buying for tomorrow. I'm not buying for right now. I'm buying for right now to make my life easier to where I can get to tomorrow, right? And it's a car hauler. Just about every car, car if, if, you're, if the trailer is saying car hauler, just about every one that you see, the one they can label it a car hauler, it's a 7,000 pound capacity trailer. Two 3,500 pound axles, not one I'm gonna buy. I would not do that. I wouldn't, I won't buy any trailer with 3,500 pound axles, uh, tandem axles, because it doesn't cost that much more to get the 5,000 pound axles. It doesn't cost that much more. It costs more, of course, but not, not that much more. Uh, if you're already spending five grand, what's another thousand to where you never have to worry about uh, bending the axle, you know? In theory, my lawn trailer, my Gator-made lawn trailer, it will, uh, well, it won't haul this machine, I know. I mean, it might, it might, but you're going, yeah, it's going to be, you're going to be way up there. But the 35, but the, uh, my seven foot by 16 lawn trailer that I have with, I carry both mowers on. It is, uh, it will, it would hold my Bobcat on there. 7,000 pounds. It would hold that. The thing is the ramp can't take that. The ramp can't take that beating of going up and down on it uh you know uh like the floor of the trail once you get it on the trailer you're good but that ramp is not designed for no seven thousand pounds or whatever but these are some of the things that i see but no matter what trailer you decide to get dude uh, i would get the 5,000 pound axles. Then you then, then then that trailer that may have cost you an additional thousand or whatever, that trailer you'll never have to worry about uh, another lawn trailer again. And I have I went 12 years or so uh, doing the 3,500 pound trailers. And the whole time, every tandem trailer I ever had that was 3,500 pound axles, 
I always ended up bending the axles and it'd start wearing the tires out. Um, and you know, that has a lot to do with the weight you got on it uh, and the roads you're driving and all that. You hit a pothole with with, the, with two of them x mowers on one of them trailers, on one of them 3,500 pound tandem trailers, seven pound, man, you hit, a, you hit a pothole, you done bent the damn axle. I done done it a hundred times. You, if you get in an enclosed trailer, I would definitely get get one that's got 5,000 pound axles. And I would definitely get one that's bigger than the 14 foot that I got right now. But just imagine buying a 16 foot trailer with 5,000 pound axles and never having to buy another one. The reason I know that is because my dump trailer, I've had it 13 years and I've never wore, wore the tires out on, on, on that trailer. Now I've had flats on it, but it's never been because of the axle being bent or nothing. And that's when, and that's how I know, because when I bought my, my Gator made trailer, that's what I was looking at. I want the same axles that are on that dump trailer because I've never had one problem out of that dump trailer. All these other trailers I didn't have problems out of. But that dump trailer, I never had not one thing. And I put big weight on it. You know, five tons, six tons on it. And never bent the axles. But all the lawn trailers, I bent them every one. I had a red one one time. It bent every time you hit a bump. You pull into a driveway and, and bam. Most of the time, just like with skid steer attachments and everything, well, just about, just, um, not all the time, but just about with everything that you purchase these days, you uh you pay for what you get right it took me a long time to get past i thought i was getting a deal and blah 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 and i wasn't getting no damn deal and if you're gonna buy a used trailer oh i'm not buying a used trailer no 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 because well the axles could be bent and you won't even know it until you start wearing tires out I've never bought a, I, I've never, I'm trying to think if I've ever bought a used trailer. Uh, I don't think I have, y'all. They just cost too much to take that chance. And, you know, used one, you're not, I mean, you know, there's no warranty uh, or nothing. But if you stick with the 5,000 pound axles, the 5,200 pound axles, whatever they are, then you all be gold, man, in, in, in the lawn care. I'm talking about doing lawn care. I ain't talking about skits there. I'm talking about lawn care stuff. You'll be good to go all day long. All right, y'all, I got to get on this job. Uh, I got a few things I got to do. Uh, deuces.